Hey Shackle Islanders, it's Connor and Alex here looking at the deadlift and the sumo deadlift high pole, continuing our series on the points of performance and requirements for completion of different moves for the CrossFit Games Open. You excited, Connor? Dude, I am pumped. <laughs> Good. You excited, Wade? Yay. He's not that excited. That was, that's as excited as I've ever seen, I'm Wade. There. Connor. Yes. What's the most important thing about the deadlift starting position? Well, I'd say lumbar curve. Exactly. Midline stabilization. And we're all going to look at the beautiful lumbar curve on Connor's lower back. Another thing to notice, Connor, where's your weight? My weight is my heels. You'll notice that his his shoulders are slightly in front of the bar slash weight and that he makes a nice looking triangle between the weight and I guess his knees, his hips, and his shoulders. A, a standard overhand grip. Good. Now, the alternate grip that you use. Very good. We like using this grip. Uh, try it out. It's a matter of personal preference, but all of us coaches here have found this to be our preferred grip for a deadlift. You'll notice that he's keeping the, the bar close to his body. Could you perform three or four in a row, Connor? Sure. By pulling back on his lats, he's actually scraping his shins and his thighs at the very top. We want to open up our hips and our legs at roughly the same time. Keep the angle between the torso and the ground roughly the same throughout the first part of the movement. Connor, could you do another really good one? Sure. Watch the angle of his torso as he raises up until his knees and then his torso starts to come. Uh, could you round the back as if you were about to do a really bad deadlift? Oh goodness, that looks terrible. Don't ever do this. Don't ever do this, clients. Oh dear. <laughs> what happened to, to your weight when you uh, moved the bar in that path? It, uh... Actually, I'm having more difficulty actually holding it out here. This is way easier. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Watch this. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, the, the face at the end is not necessarily a part of the fault, but it does make it more glorious if you ever do commit that fault. <laughs> Good. Okay, next bit, sumo deadlift high pull. Uh, the starting position is a little bit different. Look at those feet. How far apart are they, Connor? Wider than shoulder width. Wider than shoulder width. And then, watch how he grips the bar. Thumb width apart. Good. Now Connor can only do this because he's super buff again. But notice, elbows high into the outside. The bar is at his collarbone. It's not at his sternum. Can you show us that real quick, Connor? This is not a sumo the high uh, pole. Connor, could you do another sumo the high pole? Sure. Watch his hips, viewers. Good. You'll notice that he has full hip extension. You can let the weight down, Connor. Thank you. He had full hip extension, and if you watch closely, he shrugs his shoulders to help him get that weight all the way up to his collarbone. Can you do another one? Sure. <laughs> that would be a sumo deadlift bunny pole, otherwise known as the T-Rex fault. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, this is really difficult for Connor. <laughs> all right, can I see that again? Hooray! <laughs> yeah, we just blew, blew Connor's mind. Don't ever do that again, Connor. All right. This is way harder than it wrong. <laughs> this is probably the most common fault that we see. Good. Notice that he's, before his hips fully extend, his arms are trying to pull the weight up to his collarbone. And while he's completing the movement, and this will count as a rep in the CrossFit Open, that would really wear you out and would suck to do. So don't do that. 
Uh, everyone give an internet round of applause for Connor for being a really good sport lifting a heavy ass weight. Hooray! <laughs> and an internet round of applause for the wonderful narrator slash, uh, well, video. Slash cameraman. Yes, that's the Hey, game. you shut up, Wade. <laughs> no rounds of applause for you. All right. <laughs> Nothing for Wade. All right, stay tuned for our next video on the clean and jerks and maybe even the snatch. See you guys.